Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be discussing the new Unreal Engine per seat licensing price, who this will affect, and everything we know so far. So Epic Games announced today the new annual subscription model for folks using Unreal Engine for non-game developers. So if you are a game developer watching this video, you can pretty much click off the video. There's absolutely no changes to the pricing model for game devs. But if you are using Unreal Engine for anything other than game development and you make over a million dollars in revenue, so say you use the engine for things like creating films, motion graphics, archivists, pretty much this is going to affect those users of the engine only if you make over a million dollars in revenue using the Unreal Editor. So here's the article here. It announces the new pricing per seat model. So basically when Unreal Engine 5.4 is released, there is a new pricing model of $1,850 per seat. So this will apply for companies generating over a million dollars in annual gross revenue who are not creating games. So again, this is not going to affect game developers. So last year at Unreal Fest, they announced that they would be switching Unreal Engine to a seat-based enterprise software pricing model for other industries other than game development to fund future development efforts. So they're going to be rolling this new pricing model out with Unreal Engine 5.4 in late April. Now, the thing that is not changing is Unreal Engine will still remain free for students, educators, hobbyists, and for companies generating less than a million dollars in annual gross revenue. And they are not changing the licensing model for game developers. The licensing model for game developers is still a 5% royalty on products that exceed 1 million in lifetime gross revenue. So that first 1 million that you make off of your game is exempt from royalties, but the revenue after that million dollar mark is 5% royalty. And of course, any revenue earned through the Epic Game Store is exempt from overall royalty calculations, just as it is today. So that is not changing for game developers. The license is staying the same. Now, what is changing for non-game industries? So they are introducing a new seat-based Unreal subscription as part of their EULA updates with the release of Unreal Engine 5.4. So the annual cost of this per seat license will be $1,850, but they do have or offer regional pricing in select countries. So you will only need to pay for seats if you meet the following criteria. So if you are a company that generates over 1 million in gross revenue, if you do not create games, and if you do not create applications that are licensed to third party end users and rely on Unreal Engine code at runtime. So you will be able to use a seat based subscription to create things like linear content, for example, film and television shows, archivists, graphics for broadcasts and live events, products that incorporate Unreal Engine code at runtime and are not used for third parties, for example, product configurators, used either internally or externally. Immersive experiences that are not sold directly to individual users, for example, theme park rides and interactive architectural walkthroughs. So if you're developing a non-game application that is licensed to a third party and users and relies on Unreal Engine code at runtime, then you will still need to pay things like royalties, just like game developers do you pay a 5% royalty on products that exceed 1 million in lifetime gross revenue. Now there is a disclaimer. So if you are currently using Unreal Engine 5.3 or any prior versions, pricing changes will not apply to you until you decide to update to 5.4. So that means that pricing changes will not apply to new or existing users of Unreal Engine 5.3 or any other prior versions. It will only update or apply to users of Unreal Engine 5.4 or later and of course, you can view things like the roadmap to see what's planned for 5.4 and beyond. And then they're just talking about what's included in the Unreal subscription seats. Basically, Unreal Engine 5.4 and any other future versions release during that subscription period. So if you purchase a annual seat license, all the versions that come out during that year you have access to. And they also offer the other tools like Twin Motion and Reality Capture, but they also have things like a 30 day free trial that covers all these products. So they're bringing these tools together as part of a subscription to help teams across industries efficiently build high quality 3D experiences. And our end goal is to fully integrate twin motion and reality capture with Unreal Engine by the end of 2025. So it sounds like they're just gonna have one program, Unreal Engine, and everything will be integrated into it. So twin motion gives you a lighter weight easy to use visualization capabilities that make it possible for more team members such as designers to be part of the same production pipeline and workflow as Unreal Engine users, meaning you can get more of your team working together on the same projects regardless of their skill sets. And of course, Reality Capture, we have things like the leading desktop photogrammetry solution. It gives you the ability to create a one-of-a-kind asset by transforming high-res camera images, even ones taken by smartphones and or laser scans into high-fidelity 3D models for use in Unreal Engine and Twin Motion projects. And lastly, they 
made a statement about twin motion and reality capture as standalone products. So if you want to use those two products for whatever reason as standalone, you don't want to use Unreal Engine. They have separate licenses. Uh, so you guys can find the per seat licensing right here. Again, this is free to use if you're a student, educator, or hobbyist, as well as if your company earns less than 1 million in annual gross revenue, okay? And they have a frequently asked questions and at this question, why make these changes now? But basically their goal is to keep their tools free for many people as possible, especially folks who are just starting out. So these changes are designed to make a long-term Unreal Engine development sustainable so that we can continue to provide the very best, most advanced creator tools to all industries, big companies, small studios, individuals, and everyone in between. So they have a frequently asked questions. There's a lot of different questions down here. If you see something that sparks your interest, I'll leave a link to this article down in the description below. The main points of this is that the pricing model is not gonna be changing for people like game developers. Uh, you don't have to purchase a license. For game developers, the license is not changing, meaning that the license model is a 5% royalty only after your first 1 million in revenue per title. And of course, if you're not making over a million dollars for the other side of the engine, things like films, ArcViz, all that stuff, Unreal Engine is still free to use for students, educators, hobbyists, and lower revenue businesses. They're not changing any way to get the free download. So if you're eligible, basically you can just download it from the Epic Games launcher, just like you do today. So there's no changes to that in any way. And if you do fall into the category of using the engine for something other than films, and if you do make over a million dollars in revenue, or you might have to purchase that seat license, you can still use any of the previous Unreal Engine versions unless you upgrade to Unreal Engine 5.4 or later. But yeah, those are all the main points. So again, this is more targeted towards large companies, things like the broadcasting industry, film industry that make you know, millions in revenue, they're going to have to start purchasing per seat licenses per each of their employees. And it's going to be interesting to see what certain companies end up doing. Will people just use Unreal Engine 5.3 or below? Or will companies actually go up and upgrade to 5.4 and pay that per seat subscription? It'll be interesting to see the dynamic here when Unreal Engine 5.4 drops, uh, should be later in April. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. A lot of new changes coming here to the engine. And again, this is mainly for people who use the engine other than game development. So if you're a game developer, you don't have to worry about any of these changes because they're not really affecting you. But yeah, that is it for this video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Check out some of my premium courses on smartpoly.teachable.com. If you are interested in making games inside of Unreal Engine, luckily for you, I have a complete multiplayer survival game course where we create a complete multiplayer survival game from scratch. And I will be adding more courses in the future. So chances are, if you're watching this video in the future, you can check out my website, smartpoly.teachable.com to check and see if there's any new courses.